welcome to another video on power bi interview questions hope you're watching this series from beginning so the next question which you may be asked is what is role playing dimension now this question is more of a data engineering question but it is really important because we come across this question many a times the dimensions which basically have more than one role so let's say you are using an employee the employee could be manager as well as employee could be an employee now what happens there is a transactional table or there is a table where you have the employee id as well as the manager id both employee id and manager id need to be connected with the employee table to get the employee id and manager id here employee table is playing two roles of either manager or an employee same way you can have multiple dates again those dates could be order date shipment date delivery date etc the date table has to join with all these dates to provide quarter month year week information and in this manner the date table has to play multiple roles so let's read out the definition the role playing dimensions are the dimension table that are used multiple times in a model to represent different roles or perspective within the model a role playing dimension is commonly found in the fact table that contain multiple date related columns and attribute each corresponding to different date and time and context this example is about date but same case we can have with the employee dimension where you have employee id and manager id and both need to connect to employee table to get employee name and manager name so the master or the dimension table have the same information but its perspective will change based on where it is connected to For example consider a sales data model where you want to analyze sales by order date shipment date and delivery date in this case it would mean that the date dimension would be used three times each time with a different perspective or role order date shipment date and delivery date now so basically what happens if you want to join with the date dimension which date i should join one time it should play a role of order date another time it play of the role of shipment date another time it should play a role of delivery date what does that mean So basically when when I filter the date dimension is it going to filter the order date it is going to filter the shipment date or is it going to filter the delivery date there are three roles it can perform so what role it is going to perform is going to be dependent on how you are going to create that relationship are you going to create it with order date shipment date or delivery date or is it possible to switch it at the right time to order date shipment date and delivery date that is what is the role playing dimension dimension shifting its role from one attribute to another attribute depending on the requirement how you can execute this create calculated tables you can create the copies of dimension table and names them according to the role you can create order date table shipment date table and delivery date table by duplicating the date table this can be done in power query using the duplicate option or in dax you can create another table like order date equal to date and then you can create the relationship between the new dimension table and the fact table on the corresponding column So now this is the one way you create the duplicate copy you said okay this table is order date dimension this table is shipment date dimension this table is delivery date dimension this table is sales date dimension these kind of dimension you can create so this is the one way now the second way is you use use relationship so what happens in this case is you can keep the inactive relationship in your model this is something which is specific to power bi in power bi what happens is if i create a, let's say a relationship with order date or ship date then when i create the second relationship with the date column or any second relationship i will create that will become inactive relationship so what would happen one relationship between the date and the ship date one relationship between date and the delivery date now one of the relationship is inactive and whenever i want to use that inactive relationship i can use use relationship function and can specify which join i want to activate now for the active relationship it is not important to mention the use relationship it is continue to use but if both are inactive there are scenarios if you watch my hr analytics video or hr analytics file by check typically share on the community in one of the case we do use when both the joins are inactive with the hire date as well as the termination date and that's a very common case when you hire and terminate so hire date termination date one of them can have active join or both of them can have inactive join those are the kind of scenarios you can have so use relationship function is one which helps you in activating that relationship so you can keep the inactive relationship in your model and create a major that use use relationship function to activate the desired relationship in the calculation context for this you need to create multiple relationship with one common table so here there is only one table but you are creating relationship and based on the major is going to change the relationship This is one very good example here calculate sum of sales gross sales use relationship sales date and the date and the second example is by delivery date where we are using the same sum of gross sales but we are using the delivery date along with the date of date so basically activating this particular relationship now the, for the active relationship use relationship is an optional but if you expect that these could be changed the active could be changed to inactive inactive could be changed to active in the future you can always use use relationship to be on the safe side
for an active relationship use relationship is not needed what we are going to do is we are going to see this in action on the sales uh, table but my advice would be please go ahead and watch the two videos on the hr analytics there are a couple of videos where we have done this you know active employees kind of a stuff uh, you should watch that that is really good use case of this you know use relationship or role playing dimension so i'm going to go to my power bi file which i'm using for the interviews and i am so I opened my Power BI file and in this file I'm going to jump onto my model and in the model I'll create a new layout and let me call this Q59 because this is for question 59 of the interview question and here let me drag sales table and let me also drag the date table and as you can see right now here there is only one relationship between the sales and the date table and that is the active relationship between the date and the sales date but I also have a delivery date here I want to create this relationship so I'll drag the date of the date table on the delivery table and this is from the date of date to the sales delivery date and this is one to many because the date table is on the one type and the single direction you can't make it act active because the moment you want to make it active it says there's already an active relationship existing so you can create an active relationship remember if inactive is also creating some kind of a loop it may also give a warning because it's creating double path or it is creating loop so it may throw an error in such cases this is an active relationship so it can work without use relationship this is an inactive relationship for inactive relationship you have to use use relationship so let's go ahead and create a visual and try this out so again we are going to add a page we are going to call it u59 because this is for question 59 and here what we are going to do we are going to bring in the date from the date table or we can even bring in date so we got the date here along with the date we can bring in net so net is a page which is created without use relationship and let me convert it back to the table and I uncheck the arrange data for me so it should remain table now now let's do one thing let's use this net and create the two majors with the use relationship and let's see how does it make a difference for us or not so net sales date which is already in active join should not make any difference calculate net i'm using already existing major which is just doing a sum so calculate net comma use relationship what are the argument use relationship needs it needs the column one and the column two two argument it needs for the relationship what are those two columns sales date is the first argument and the date of date is the second argument which I need so let me create this major and I bring this here and you will not see any difference in any of the dates here let's sort it on the date to understand it better and as you can see there is no difference in the data here now let's do the second stuff and the second is I want to copy this formula net sales date create a new major from the major tool and add here net use relationship instead of sales date I'm now going to use delivery date and I will also rename it as net delivery date let me press enter the new major has been created and let me add it here and the moment I add it here you can see there is a difference and the moment I do this you will see there is a difference in the values of both the major and the reason for the difference is one of the major is running on sales date another one is running on delivery date and my sales date and delivery date are not same usually most of them are more than one day delivery so this is where same date table or same date dimension has been used but it is playing different role one time it is sales date dimension another type it is delivery date dimension mention how my data is looked by delivery date and in the first two cases it is how it is looking by the sales date so when you don't have the inactive relationship you don't need to use user relationship that's what it means so in this manner you can use it and there are many use cases which you will be able to draw it is not only the date table there are many other dimensions which will be behaving like role playing dimension so you should be remembering this important feature role playing dimension and how to use it do practice the HR file which I have shared with you and HR videos which I have shared with you before you are preparing for your interview hope this will help you to answer this particular question thank you for taking time to watch this video your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series if you have any question or topics you would like me to explore in this series please let me know in the comments below your support is truly means the world to us it's the reason we create and share these videos if you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more please consider liking sharing and commenting it helps us immensely until next time keep learning and stay connected thank you